Liam, it's the first opportunity we've had to catch up with you this year, um, but I know you've been back training for a while. Talk to me about what you've been doing so far. Yeah, we've been back at it for quite a few months now, to be honest with you. You know, I think the way people talk about it, close season, but at the present moment in time, I think with the environment that we're in, there's no close season anymore, really. Um, but it's a cold January night here at the moment. You know, the, the numbers are scarce. Uh, some of the boys were on their way down from Dublin tonight, and with the weather up in Dublin, they had to turn around and go back. So look, at they're getting together up in UCD, so they'll do their bit as well. But preparations are going well at the moment. You know, we've 40 guys in here at the moment, um, putting in a huge effort. And unfortunately, you know, you have to dwindle that down to 32 or 34. But look, we've games over the last number of weeks, and we've two more games um, coming up at the weekend. The game against Clare on Saturday and the Welsh Cup on Sunday. So it's all go at the moment. With Chalmaliers winning the county title for the first time in uh, 60 something years, um, you know, and St Anne's in the final, it must have unearthed some new talent for the county team. Yeah, look, it was a great championship last year, to be fair. You know, two new teams in the final. Um, Chalmaliers coming out on top, you know, on a replay. Uh, you couldn't have asked for any more. Glyn Barntown beat Nowlert at the death in Belfield, you know, to knock them off their perch. Um, you know, and that's what you need. You know, obviously I'm an Owler to Ballock man and I'll be cheering for Owler to Ballock, wanting them to win every year, but that's not possible as well. But, you know, a, a new team breathes new enthusiasm and it brings on new players and, you know, it puts life into a parish as well. And I've went through that in my own time as a player as well. And, you know, to be fair, um, different players um, came up trumps in the championship, particularly for the Shelmaliers, you know, and just, I suppose... He's in for, as, for one of the players who's holder of the year this year is Joe Kelly and you know Joe had a tremendous year you know young Simon Donahue at cornerback you know Aidan Cash, Benny Barn you know these are names now that have came into the panel you know I have a panel of forty plus at the moment these are guys that um, have come into it from the Shelmaliers you know and that's that's what you need you know we, we need fresh faces you know young David Dunn um, from Davistown, Shane O'Gorman, Andrew Kenny back in from the under 21s. You know, so look at we we had a great club championship last year. You know, and the draw is on tonight again. You know, which is fantastic as well, and that breeds fire again, and it puts, you know, it puts it all back into the club scene again. And you know, if clubs are healthy and clubs are going strong, and there's young players coming through, it makes my job a lot easier. I suppose one of the talking points so far this year has been the switch of Dotty Waters from the football squad to the hurling squad. How has that progressed, and how is that developing? Look, I mean, I I met Dotty three years ago, you know, Brian Malone as well, wanting them to come into Hurl, you know, I felt they had something tougher if if they um if they wanted to put their mind to it, you know, but at the time they didn't want to do that, you know. Dahi this year decided that um he'd throw his lot into the hurling and I'm delighted to be honest with you, you know, I mean he's played different times for us in different challenge games so far and you know it's gonna take fine time for him to adapt into, you know, the top level hurling but you know at the same time he's he's a young man you know and I suppose he looked at it that if he didn't give the hurling a go maybe he would regret it in years to come and to be fair to him as well and I spoke to him at length about it you know if ever he was going to make a switch to try the hurling now was the time you know and you know we played CIT there um, last Saturday in the game and I see Aidan Walsh hurling middle of the field and he's he's two football all stars, you know, and he's probably said the same thing to himself, if I don't give it a go now, it'll never happen for me. But you know, we have a debate over hurling the football and I think, you know, Lee Chin has picked hurling as well and we've seen the year that he had, you know, he was the July hurler of the year, an all star nomination. Very unlucky he didn't get one. But look at the way it's gone now, guys have a shorter career than they had in my day, you know, with with the commitment that has to go into it, so you make the best of it for the few years that you have. Yeah. I suppose uh, you, this time last year we were discussing uh, Tomas Waters, and uh, you know you were heading off to, Kil to play Kilkenny in a challenge game, you know, to raise funds from. Um, Tomas has joined the panel back again this year. Tomas is back as well, which is great. You know, um, he'll be a fabulous, I suppose, uh, new player to get. You know, after missing the whole of last year, but look at he's back. He's faced, he's played the challenge games before Christmas. He played um, against Tipperary last weekend and I was delighted with his performance. You know, Garrett Sinnott is back, training strong again. You know, he, we really didn't have the Garrett Sinnott that we know of, of last year. He missed so much through injury as well. You know, Shane Tompkins is back in. So, look at 
and you still need new players coming in. You know, you as I said, mentioned the Shelmalier's guys that'll come in, you know, David Dunn, Padraig Foley from Ballamoran had a very good championship with Ballamoran as well. And um he's in there in the fray as well. So I'm delighted with the commitment and and the dedication and the effort that I'm getting from the players. But unfortunately, you know, you've forty plus guys in but the county board doesn't allow you to have that many and you know, only fifteen can be picked. So the panel will be cut down now in the next two, three weeks, you know, which will be disappointing on some players. But I wanted players to come in, you know, to see for themselves exactly what's going on here and the setup that we have and you know, that guys that don't make the panel that they'll go back to the clubs, you know, they know what they have to do to get into this setup, you know, and that will help clubs as well. Liam, after the great strides that Wexford made last year, um, how do you prepare the team for this year and you know, how do you aim to raise the bar on that? Well, I suppose maybe one answer to that would be uh, when I met Jerry Fitzpatrick, you know, three years ago he told me it'd take take us three years to to build the team the way I wanted it. You know, I told Jerry that I needed it in two years because I mightn't be around for the third one if it, things didn't happen after two. But look at um, you know, we went down tennis, we played the All Ireland champions, we should have beat them the first day. You know, the boys got great confidence from that. Um, we had just won back to back Leinster under 21 title again, you know, which was fabulous up in Parnell Park beating Dublin. You know, we came to Wexford Park and who'll ever forget that evening, you know, and we beat him, beat Clare and then moved on to beat Waterford in Nolan Park, which was fantastic for everybody and it gave everyone a lift. But, you know, that's in 2014 and, you know, we started back um, in October, you know, and guys in gym programs and um, Paddy Butler was down doing wall sessions in Buffers Alley and um, Jerry Fitzpatrick has these guys motoring on the program now over for a number of weeks and step by step and week by week and month by month and you know we played challenge games before Christmas you know we've we've had more of them now over the last two weeks you know Welsh Cup starts again and so really you know if you stand still you know you'll be left behind to be honest with you, you know and you know every team now is putting in such a huge commitment you know hurling the football that um, if you don't if you're not prepared to do that a little bit extra it won't happen for you okay um we're in Division 1B of the league this year again. How important is the league to Wexford this year? Well, I think, I suppose, maybe the league is hugely important. You know, particularly, you know, we've got Limerick and uh, Waterford, uh, Leash, Offaly, and then Antrim as well, along with ourselves, you know. But I think from a financial perspective as well, it's huge. I think two years ago, we earned 4,000 euros for the county board from the National League. Whereas last year, I think we earned something like 30,000 getting to the quarterfinals. So, you know, from that end of it, it's hugely important. From Hurland's perspective, it's, I just felt that over the last number of years, we wouldn't be capable of going up to Division 1A and sustaining it, to be honest with you. Whereas now, my ambition is to get up there. You know, I want to get these guys up into Division 1A to be playing the top teams at a competitive level all the time. But look at we've a we've a tough road ahead of us. We have Antrim at home, Offaly away, Limerick at home, Leash away, Waterford is the last game at home. So hopefully we can do well in it, you know, get back into a quarter final again, you know, and, and push it on from there. Okay. Is it a little bit early to ask you for some of your goals for the year? Well, I'm not sure and it's never too early, you know. I mean we want to be very competitive in the National League, you know. I'd love to get up to Division One A. You know, if we don't, we don't. Um, Division One B is be quite competitive. Teams are after winning all Ireland's coming out of Division One B. You know, Limerick, as I said, Limerick and Waterford will be very difficult to beat. But it's fantastic that we have them in Wexford Park. Um, you know, we played the runners-up of the round robin, and if we can win that game, you know, we have a trip to Northern Park to play the All Ireland champions again. So I mean, that is a mouth-watering. You know, prospect of going up to Kilkenny there to play Kilkenny in, in the Leinster semi final. So, you know, we've lots of small little goals, but we'll take it step by step as we go along. And, you know, there's a lot of hard work going in, as you can see behind me there at the moment. There's guys getting ready to pull sleighs for Santi next year, and guys getting ready to put foundations here for the next stand that's going to be built in, in Patrick's Park. But look at us all par for the course. But the bottom line is, you know, Come the time, we have to be able to stick the ball over the bar and in the net and who can block and defend. And there's lots of aspects that go into this now that weren't around in my time, I can tell you that. 
And just uh, Sunday, you're playing um, UCD in the Walsh Cup. How do you think that's going to go? Well, it's, you know, we're, we're back in Gorey in Walsh Cup. It's, I suppose it's the first competition that really starts again. And strange, really, like we're going to be hurling against some of the Wexford guys as well in the colleges, you know. So oh, we're looking forward to it. You know, we'll, we'll pick a, a strong team to, to represent Wexford on Sunday. You know, there'll be probably two, three, maybe four guys that haven't played at a competitive level for Wexford before we'll start as well, so which will be really good as well, you know, and, uh, you know, UCD, we need to win this game, travel to Leash then uh, Sunday week then to play Leash in the next round of the Walsh Cup. So look, it's all preparation for the National League to starting in, in six weeks' time and we're looking forward to it. Well, best of luck with the season. Thank you very much.